Ready, set, Ready. hit it. Okay, how many of you already were in love with Bridge when Keith talked about it yesterday? Awesome, me too. Um, and I use Bridge all the time at work because I get a lot of these files that are just these images that have these crazy names and we need to keep track of all these images. We've got photo multiple photographers and blah, blah, blah. And I need to give these all some sort of a sensical name. And how many of you know you can do a batch rename in Bridge? Okay, a few of you. For those of you that don't, here's your tip. Um, under the tools menu, you can do batch rename or you can do um, command shift R and it'll open up a big old dialog box that has lots of options. I'm going to rename photos. You've got options that you can choose there where you want to put those photos that you've renamed. You can put them in the same folder if you don't care about changing the names there. You can put them in a new folder um, or you can copy them. So you can have two copies, one with the gobbledygook name and one with a more sensical name. And then you can give it options as to what the file name you want it to be. In my case, we have these categories. This is academics and research, for in case you care. Um, I want that to be the string at the beginning of every photo. These were taken in 2016, so I've got a, the next thing I'm going to have in my file name is the code for 2016. And then I want to keep them in sequence. And I can tell Bridge that I want to have a sequence. I could give a sequence letters if I wanted it to be A, B, C, and D instead. Um, I could give a date and time but that doesn't really help me of the date created. Um, I can do all sorts of things. I can even keep the current file name at the end and just put the stuff at the beginning, but that just gets stupidly long. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a sequence number. And at the bottom, you can see that I've got it previewing as to what's gonna be, what the old name, the current file name is, and what the new file name is gonna be. If I don't trust that, which I often don't, I can preview and it's gonna tell me, it's gonna change all of these and here's what the new names are gonna be. It's gonna do 23 files. I say okay, I say rename, give it a second and voila, I've just renamed all 23 files in a few seconds. I can even, I can even, and I blew my own joke <laughs> that, I, that Keith had me um, ready to do, which is what can you use, I'm gonna tell you the punchline first, you can use grep in Bridge. It's one of the only other things besides InDesign and InCopy in the Creative Suite where you can use Grep. I'm going to actually go to a different folder. Here I've got, already got a photographer initial at the beginning. I've got a year. I've got some sequence, a shoot number and a sequence number. Um, I'm going to select them all again with um, control, Command A and I'm going to batch rename. And I actually forgot um, one of the things that I want to Oops, photographer to category. I'm gonna actually just change the photographer initials, but I wanna, I don't know what the photographer is, so I can actually give it a little grep string, and then I can, um, it'll find both photographers, it'll rename them all. Woo. Wow. I like that. Bonus points for, for adding grep. grep to that. That yes. is. Thank you, hat tip to Keith Gilbert, because he awesome, helped me figure this out. Awesome.